All right, YouTube, you're listening to the May 21st edition of Aftershocks to Awful Spots, also known as Ass to Ass. I am your host and moderator, Jonathan, and I hope you will appreciate me not stuttering in the introduction this time. Today, Junior. With me is the king of the rumor mill and the man who has his finger on the pulse of every little story that comes out of the crevices and cracks of pro wrestling today, the gossip column, Jed. Hi, I'm Jed. And with us, as always, is the formidable expert of the WWE roster, the one man who can tell you anything you want to know about any WWE superstar, current, past, and present, Jared. Oh, I thought you were going to say John Laurinaitis was here. And we also have our producer, Courtney, chowing away on some delicious Panda Express. It's so meaty. <laughs> we have a special guest as well. And a special guest. <laughs> King of the Backyard Hardcore Deathmatch. Yes. The only man that will tell you if you can come in oh, or go man. home at a local drinking establishment. Whoa, yay. Yeah. Scary Gary Homicide. Hey. <laughs> All right, this was a busy weekend. We had a pay per view. It was yesterday. We had a raw over to follow the up. limit. We had a raw to follow up that uh, pay per view. Monday night. First, let's go to the pay per view. It was over the limit. We once again had our little contest, where if you if you're not aware of this contest. As the show progresses, we all put in our picks of who's going to win. If you guess right, you get a point. If you don't guess right, you get zero points. And once again, our winner for the second pay-per-view in a row. No, I, I lost last week. <laughs> you loser. <laughs> Jared, or, or last month, whatever. <laughs> You're such a loser. Jared won last month. <laughs> I knew yeah. it was someone with a J name. <laughs> yeah, it had to be. Yeah. It okay, to be. The for the first movie. time ever... Jed has come out on top. Woo-hoo! Usually he comes on the bottom. Woo-hoo! It doesn't take long either. Yeah. Where do I so, come at? Uh, so he was he was he was able to predict accurately the winners of such blockbuster five triple five plus 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 star matches, triple A matches as Beth Phoenix and Layla <laughs> and R Truth and Kobe Kingston versus. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. What other ones did you get right? Um, the Christian Cody Rhodes match. Yeah, you went for the Christian. I went for the gold, man, yeah, that's, and that's, that's exactly that's what, what Christian that's did. That's most certainly where you sealed the deal there. Because, I mean, I think that Jared and I were holding each other and sobbing because Cody Rhodes, truly the greatest world wrestling entertainment, Intercontinental Champion that the world will ever know has lost his championship. Um, and hopefully they're gonna shoot him towards bigger things, right? That's what we I can hope. only hope. Cause I love my Cody Rhodes, and they had a great angle of him bending over. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's great. All right. <laughs> uh, the pay per view. Everyone's seen it by now. If you haven't, you can download it. You're, you're smart internet people. You know how to get on Woo message boards and comment on YouTube videos that you watch, but you don't know how to make your own YouTube videos, do you? Ha! <laughs> yeah, anyway. you know who you are. We're talking to you. Hey, you should open up your own website called www.busters.com. Ha! <laughs> That's Busters. probably already there. <laughs> if it's not, I'm, I'm getting it tonight. Yeah. Regardless, what did you think? Get, okay, say you're, a, say you're a grade school teacher, right? And you're handing out little stars. Gold mm-hmm. star, the best. Silver star, pretty good. Green star, nice try, right? Yeah, nice try. Yeah. What do you give over the limit, 2012? What star does it get? I was pretty impressed by it. It wasn't it wasn't off the wall amazing, but it was pretty good. So I will, especially the way it closed out, 
even though Big Show doesn't know how to touch people when he wrestles them. It, I, I <laughs> guess I will go the touching for, for after. <laughs> I, I guess I will give them the best star. You're giving them a gold star. I'll give them a gold star. They're so kind. What about you, Jared? Uh, you said there was gold, silver, gold, silver, and green, and green. And, so some, three. and, and this couch, this this uh, this studio, not couch. What I'm talking about. This this production facility knows a lot about green stars. Am I right? Green room couch. <laughs> we know about satisfactory work. We get stars. Well, maybe not all of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all gold, it. silver, I or never green. see stars. I give it silver because it wasn't horrible and it wasn't great. I'll have to agree with you. It's a silver star. For what it is, it's not a big show. It's the, hey, guess what? In a few months, we're going to have SummerSlam. Hey, don't, don't forget about WWE. Between, what was the last big show? Is it WrestleMania? So, I would say the last. No, well, the last one was was whatever Brock and Cena were just on. Because yeah, that I mean, was a lot still, of hype behind it. Yeah, that. I know it's a lot of hype, but that's just because they got Brock. But yeah, WrestleMania was the last big show. You know, it's not show. anything special, the Extreme Rules. Uh, yeah, so it's WrestleMania between it's between WrestleMania, SummerSlam. What at what can we get people yeah, to see, c- c- continue and I took to that tune into in. account because honestly, if this had been a WrestleMania, SummerSlam, or Royal Rumble, um, something of that caliber, I would have given it a green because I mean this is a Royal uh, Rumble's you know like back in the nineties you had your in your house pay per views. Yeah, this, this is, is the, a in your house exactly. And as for an in your house, it got a silver. I agree. It was, you know, we, we predicted last week. It wasn't bad. All I in all, it was not I'm bad. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we were the first source on the internet to predict the Big Show's heel turn. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people predicted it. But I believe that Ass to Ass was the first internet show to predict his heel turn. Because we are so smart at wrestling. Yeah, we're super smart. The combined knowledge we have of wrestling. I'm so smart. I got yeah. big brains. Big brains. Is dozens of lifetimes of wrestling. That's for sure. All right, let's ask the uh, the uh, resident expert on lots of things. We won't even get into it. But Scary Gary Homicide. As far as smart people are concerned, let's say you give a gold star to the smartest, a silver star to somewhat smart, and a green star to a dumbass. What do we get? Wait, us? As, yeah, what do we get as, as a show? What do we get? I've never seen these stars. He, he, he just came back. He hadn't heard anything. He, what do we get? Oh. Calling okay. you out. Gold. Yeah, gold. Yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're so smart, and you're not smart. Go for the gold, dude. All right. The pay per view, done, done and gone. You go for the, the next gold, night. Brother. WWE has had a problem following up pay per views, especially decent ones, with adequate or even better Raws. Like the Raw should be better than the pay per view. Because it, they want to elevate their quality of production. I think they've done all right lately. And this Raw, what do you think? I think this Raw was pretty good, man. I, I know you were a little bit disappointed yourself, but I was I was satisfied. It's, it's fine. It was satisfying. I like what they did with, with Cena and, and John Laurinaitis, but I feel like they should have actually made people wait to hear what happened regarding that. It, it shouldn't have been... Second one, Cena comes out. You gotta realize the of, attention span. I don't have an attention span to wait. The warrior princess who's wrestling? Zena? No, yeah. Cena. Z- Zena? Zena. <laughs> Zena. Zena. <laughs> you heard it. This is a rumor mill. This is a rumor mill exclusive. Oh, shit. Meow, meow. <laughs> Jed, the rumor mill expert, has predicted that Zena Warrior Princess <laughs> will become a WWE superstar. <laughs> Wasn't that already China? No. <laughs> An attractive woman will be in the WWE oh, yeah. for the first time ever. <laughs> What's funny? And she, I think she's gonna do half Xena, half Battlestar Galactica gimmick. Yeah. And all the all the guys that would bother to listen to an hour long podcast on YouTube will totally cream their pants. Some more of those? Yeah, go ahead. You get no butt ice. Um, I want butt ice. Excuse Jared for a moment. He's going to grab a beer. Grab he me was, one, too. He wasn't going to say anything. Who wants before. beer? You want beer? Yeah, I want beer. All right, man. I want beer. Huh. That leads us in. Before, you want, you want before, beer, Gary? Yeah, I'll take a beer. Yeah, grab Gary a beer. Before we uh, wrap up our Raw report, I think we have a special segment. The second week in a row. The Gossip Column. I don't, I don't think we have anything for the Gossip Column. I thought you column. had like five, new sto- five stories about... Well, about backstage brawls and so and so sleeping with such and such. Yeah, we played a show. I think I think that John that CM Punk butt dialed the president. 
Wasn't that a rumor that I heard on the interwebs? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> you know, one thing I heard, and I, I, I'm not sure what I heard, but it was it was somewhat important. But uh, Bellator apparently is might be signing with Impact. Well, they're working together. Yeah. Because they're both Spike TV things. And That's there's a, chat worthy. The, there's an MMA fighter called King Mo, and he's gonna be the first person ever. That is a MMA fighter and professional wrestler. That's not. I mean, I'm sure people have done this in Japan, but in America, in the modern era, he's gonna pro wrestle one week, or have be in a pro wrestling program, and then go directly into MMA when he has an MMA, MMA fight. So it's different than a Severn and Shamrock, where they took they retired from MMA or took an extended vacation and. You know, had their pro wrestling. I don't careers. know what this m- m- is that you're talking about, but it sounds like fake shit to me, so I don't want to talk about it. Mumbra! Mumbra! <laughs> <laughs> and once again, you're listening to the Thundercats 24 7 podcast. <laughs> Lino! <laughs> the longest YouTube video ever 7,000 hours. <laughs> I'd, oh, lo- I'd watch it. I looked up four hours of Sif on Ollie. Sipal and Ollie show rocks. We watched a fifty-hour a fifty-hour video of He Man singing disco. Oh, yeah, we watched, it was fifty hours oh, 50 of. Hours? And the car yeah, we, yeah, we, we just stopped watching it before Ron. No, we didn't watch fifty wow. hours. We didn't watch fifty hours. I can only go forty-eight. <laughs> we are the trooper. I had to hit pause and take a break. Anyway, what do y'all think about Big Show's heel turn? You like it? Uh, it's different. You, cause so you, far, you know, so good. You know, when he came in, when he broke into the biz, he was uh, kind of the monster heel. Or no, he was, I don't like, know if he was dun- actually a heel. No, he was most was certainly he? a heel. He was with the Dungeon of Doom. Oh, okay. He was right. a devil-worshipping... Here's, here's the gimmick they need to put on, on Big Show. They need to put a mop on his head, red lipstick, and an apron, and he's going to go, I'm going to get you! <laughs> That freaks me out, man, no, just talking to, about it. They need to dress him up like gold dust and he'd be called show dust. That would really freak a lot of people. Oh. No, 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 it's fine. He has this... <laughs> he... I, I think he goes off better as a heel than he does a face that they tried to push him for so many months lately. He has his, he has his gimmick. He, he, dress, he, he dresses like he just showed up from Joseph E. Banks. <laughs> or Joseph E. A. Banks. Yeah, Joseph or, A. Bank. Uh, or a KG Superstore, Men's Warehouse, or... It looks Big like you know it's even worse. Even foundry. worse, not a nice place like that. It looks like they said, "Hey, we're gonna do a hill turn." So stop by JC Penny. Hell on the way yeah, here. JCP. Yeah, because that's that's how my shirts fit really badly, and I'm a big show. Regardless, inside. he's 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 you know he's the corporate. He's the he's the big show cross out show become sell out. I used to sell accidental death and dismemberment insurance for a company. I think we all did. I think we all did. I sold it for TCIM. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, and if you die in a uh, public transportation accident, you get a whole million dollars. Sweet. So if you're on the let's bus, let's ride that motherfucking bus. Yeah, let's call up our agent, Big Show. What happens if you get thrown in front of a bus? Does that count? Yeah, I think it it's would. Accidental. That's it's a good accidental. question. Let me let me talk to my supervisor. But well, what if somebody purposefully <laughs> throws you in front of That's it? Murder. Buster. What if what if they were trying to throw you across <laughs> oh, the street and the bus got in the way? They're burning the lawsuit candle at both ends now, buddy. Yeah, quick. <laughs> so. What, there was an interesting bit of uh, Raw tonight. For the first time ever, you had a two-on-three handicap tag lumberjack match. I'm, I don't even know how they had the room. Good thing they have HD TVs now, because that's a <laughs> lot of words to put on the next match coming up. Boom! That's like a Carson City dog collar, blindfolded, one hand tied behind your back, evening gown match. <laughs> but speaking of rascals, how about that hover round? Yeah, the hover round. Uh, so yeah. do you think do you think Does just like <laughs> just like a, a Maserati and a alcoholic and, and providers of spirits everywhere pay for their product placement? Did you think that hover round paid for their product placement? Yeah, of course. Old people love their wrestling, man. They, they love going to the uh, to the well, Grand Canyon. Yeah, they love getting straight edge guys to sell Jack Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he won't drink it, so you should. 
Who, what about those? Uh, what about those guys who have made their return to WWE regular Monday night programming? That Rex gentleman, the the fake ass Heart Foundation guys. That's cool. You couldn't, you couldn't um, stop complaining about this last night. Well, I, 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 I complained that they had the because they're wearing the fucking hearts colors, man, and they won't let the hearts wrestle with them. And they've got some good hearts, David Hart Smith. They fucking let him ass, let his ass go. Well, they don't got kid. him, then, do they? No, they had him and they let his ass go. So uh, those colors aren't occupied right now, then. No, <laughs> they're always occupied. The pink and black attack is always in the Hart family. Speaking of uh, Hart family, how about that uh, shine that? Uh... Tyson Kidd got at the pay per view the little battle royale. Oh man, I liked it, man. I, anytime I, you get a chance to see Tyson Kidd wrestle is is a privilege. He's so, one of the best the, there is. The crowd reacted to his athleticism. I think he's a SmackDown guy. You think they're gonna maybe put him in a SmackDown program? See how test the waters, if you will, uh, for him to be a face like you know the AJ Styles face, the guy who can just do amazing athletic maneuvers. Well, it's, you know, it's WWE. You never know what they're going to do, especially now that they're going to go to a three-hour... They're not going to push new talent. (laughs) Most of the time, that's true. That's that's a big announcement that, you know, if you're listening to this, I want you to weigh in on the comments. Do you want a three-hour Raw every week? Remember the pain and suffering an extra hour of Raw caused us a few Well, you remember You remember the Monday Nitros? Three hours was just, like, ungodly long. And they weren't always that. Okay, Raw and Nitro, when they began, were an hour-long show. And they were nice, tight shows. Like It was like they were busting at the seams of superstars. And every week you're going to see someone new. Some, some, <laughs> some world-class athlete uh, or a name that you hadn't ever seen before, you hadn't seen in a while. Well, I think that's the logic that they're thinking is... That nowadays they've got an abundance after the popularity of '90s wrestling. Now they've got an abundance of new superstars that are up and coming, so they think they can fill all the spots of that. But unless they have the storylines and stuff to go with it, they're not going to keep people's attention. I don't think they have abundance of superstars as Cena being put in a program of Big Show shows, but they do have an abundance of people wanting to sell ads to the. Highest rated show on USA Network and one of the top, the top rated shows on cable, and you know one of the most socially active Some television shows, shows that exist. They need to incorporate. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah, they need to incorporate special effects. Just Sonya kidding, just kidding. Blade. So that it's like Mortal Kombat, the finishes. Yeah. The, the CAG. Fireball. CG. CGI. CGI. Fireball. So, so what I was going to say about this three-hour show, the point I'm making is, yeah, three hours of wrestling is cool if you can give me three hours of wrestling. Make it like a roller coaster ride. You may you may have your little downtime where it's just talking, but it's got to go back up and go come in waves, and not just the same wrestlers coming out and bitching at each other. Survey says one more for the two-hour show. <laughs> well, it's... The thousandth show, which is what they're and that's they're cool. tying in to celebrate, you know that they're celebrating a thousand out a thousand shows. And that's cool. Put that at three hours, but not every week, please. Exactly. And now it's going to be every week three hours. So that means when it's a special occasion, are they going to have a four hour show? Oh Jesus! Here we go again. And and I know right. you're fine with get rid of SmackDown. I I don't like SmackDown. And you you just throw 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 it away, and just have your three hour raw. And get rid of the SmackDown Brown, the Brown, the SmackDown, the SmackDown brand. They would do really well to devote at least thirty minutes. That's one sixth of the show to what is that? One one what? One one sixth. Ah, one sixth. They didn't do it again. Oh, you talking about the squeal? (laughs) One sixth of the show. Six. Yes. Two (laughs) eight. One sixth of the show to (laughs) new talent. I mean, not just like brand new talent, but well, people that are not on the main event roster. Speaking from from the Rumor Mills Twitter feed that doesn't exist because I just made it up, I saw <laughs> that NXT will be changing formats from its current web-based series of showing off new talent, them having a pro, and them having a little life coach circle jerk and them being eliminated American Idol style and to one of them makes their debut and they don't do anything with them for a year to being televised Florida Championship Wrestling. So just showing us what happened at FCW this week. 
and introducing their the new talent that we will get to see in their in their in their primordial state of an indie wrestling show, which which is where people where a wrestler should hone their craft, not on a fucking fake ass Survivor or American Idol or whatever the hell it is. Uh, what the Tough Enough and the well, the tough NXT, different. NXT. The tough enough is different. It gets people who want to be pro wrestlers to do right, it, right, right. To get, get yeah, involved. but yeah, but you say that, and and they have guys on the show in the middle of the contest that are indie wrestlers. So don't give me that bullshit. Yeah, but that, but the problem with that is that it, it, the the original idea of it was you know polluted, as they melded it with an NXT style idea where it was. Indie workers and introducing them, but anyway, we're gonna get there's a there's an hour or two hours or however long NXT is gonna be, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be dedicated to new talent, at least new to us, new WWE talent and names. Yeah, like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's kid, Richie yeah. Steamboat, and the Usos are on there. That AW guy's on there. Yeah. Usos. So there's a lot of there's a lot of co talent that they share. All right, well I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit. And I want to do a segment that I look forward to every week. And I want to get everybody's pick on their Wrestler of the Week. So uh, let's 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 hear Jonathan's Wrestler of the Week. Or do you want me to give you a minute? I'll give you a minute. You can think about it for a second. But I already know I don't mine. need a minute. Okay. Great Kali. <laughs> uh, I, I get it. I really do He's get great. it. And it's funny. His na- It's in his name. Great. Great colleague. He's a great wrestler. Uh, all right, all right. He's well, amazing my- on the mic. <laughs> hey, my silence tired, is on purpose. I'm tired of um, all you internet I'm darlings, sorry. all you smart marks, all you wannabe armchair bookers out there on the internet bad mouthing the great colleague. Because <laughs> I dare you to get up into his giant face and talk that noise. Because he'll slap the taste out of your mouth, sons and daughters. Because he's the great Kali. <laughs> he's a motherfucking giant. He's a he's a god in India. I think he's a god in Ireland, too. He's not even from there. <laughs> oh, man. I know they love him in Canada. He's got to be carrying a potato so, sack down there. I know that. We don't even need to hear you guys' that. answers. I know you've switched them to the great Kali because he's so amazing. No, well, my, my pick for the week is definitely not the great Kali. I can't he shouldn't you. ever be mentioned anywhere in the face of the earth. But mine is the Repo Man. <laughs> you, you picked the one guy. You that, thought you had jokes. <laughs> you picked the one guy that could maybe hold a candle to the great colleague. <laughs> All right, Jared, who's yours? Um, I'm going to be legit on this one. But before Whoa! I go, before Are I you go, saying yeah. that our picks yeah. weren't the most legitimate? Oh, believe me, I will, I will elaborate. I'll tell you that if they had the ability to have Repo Man and Great Khali square off against one another, that's ten WrestleMania main events in a decade right there. Yeah? All right, oh. Scary Gary Homicide. I thought it was who is? Was oh, oh, yeah, well, yeah. well, oh, we'll, we'll come back to him. We'll yeah. say, the, say on that on that note... <laughs> what I want to say about, about you guys' picks is, uh, you know, you can call me the letter H because I always roll right next to my G. And we're going to motherfucking put a gad up in that bitch's face, Great Collie. I want to see him slap that shit out of my hand. Motherfucking dork. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So wait, well, who's your I'm pick, sorry. Great Collie? No. Okay, Gary, who do you pick? <laughs> <laughs> What's that old lady's name? <laughs> Mickey Guerrero? Mona? May? May Young? May Mona. Young? Fabulous Moolah? Moolah, yeah. She's yeah, dead. Yeah. Fabulous Moolah, yeah. You picking her? That's what I picked. That's the All wrestler right. of the week for Gary, Scary that's Gary what? Homicide. Well, mine's legit because it goes to a guy that... Fabulous Moolah. All right, so from a from a worker standpoint, you have to look out at the crowd and realize that you made children and a grown women men cry. You are the big show. Him and John Laurinaitis single-handedly hey, made the audience ho, cry. Hold on, the great Kali makes a lot of people cry. I so cry every time he all, comes out. When he lifts his arm in the air. No. <laughs> when he tries to wrestle. No, he doesn't try to wrestle. I've when seen he tries grown to grown man cry. They are all here. I cry on when he this tries broadcast. to walk. His music hits and tears fill our eyes. The guy can't because walk because we know it's ten minutes of our life. He We're can't never getting walk, back. dude. When. Whenever Big Show turned on John Cena, they showed the crowd shots, and there were people crying. They were, like, disappointed and sad that that had happened. Just think how sad. Like, there's that kid who's got like, a beanie. He he probably tore it up. That's it. I changed my vote. This or 
<laughs> he gets viscera. viscera. Oh, oh, we got a we got a triple a tag pick. team going on here, man. Great Khali, Viscera, and viscera. Repo, man, and the Big Show. No, against the Big Show. That was a stable, I'm going to give Big Show a different a, chance. If that was a stable, it would be the most dominant stable. People would say Four chance. Horsemen who? What kind of chance are you talking about? Okay, Four Horsemen. Please we're walk right. Big Show, we're talking about Viscera. Yeah, Great Khali. We're talking about Great, Kali, And the Repo Man. And we're talking about the Repo Man. Yeah, people wouldn't even know who Ric Flair was if they teamed all those they superstars up together. shot after those four days. Yes. Yeah, because Repo Man took that shit back. Yeah, retards walk with more <laughs> grace than all four of them put together. Hey, that's that's <laughs> that's insensitive. That have to be called fucking retards. Because <laughs> at least they're getting some. You know, when you make fun of retards, they don't know it. Because you go, and they're like, yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> uh, Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> yeah. Didn't practice that one. <laughs> oh, all right. Stay tuned for that three-hour Raw coming in summer and get used to it because I don't think... they they're, Even if they realize it's a mistake, they're not going to say, oh, it was a mistake, we're going to go back to uh, They might. They might. Be insensitive. Dude, the great Be colleague insensitive. still comes out. They don't admit to the no, mistake. No, there was some blood pack that they have to... A blood pack? <laughs> That's what they did. Is what they did. A, did is a, they were on a treasure hunt and they, they, the they, they, they got a gem... And it's attached to their soul, and the Great Collie follows it. <laughs> it's some curse. It's some ancient curse that unleashed Great Collie onto the world, and that's why he's a motherfucking awesome wrestler. It's the course. The curse he's like of the horse. Juggernaut. Marvel's the Juggernaut of wrestling. He's like a Curry Juggernaut. Yeah. Curry. Yeah. He's the Seriously. real Curry man. The Punjabi Playboy. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I think accumulatively we've picked on him a total of an hour in the past month. <laughs> no way. I have only sung his praises because he's the best big man the WWE has ever So employed. the Punjabi stone is what's holding the ransom. Yeah, the Punjabi stone. It's, it's the emerald. It's, he found it in that bucket of chicken. <laughs> so is that about that? Or we, we got, do we got any more for you? What do you got? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't got anything. The only thing cover is on the pay-per-view. How did you like that... Uh, that ROH, the ROH match. Oh, you're talking about uh, D. Bry for CM O'Brien. Punk. Yeah, just the thumbs yeah. up or thumbs down. Uh, I give it a good thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up, it's good. I mean, I don't know if the wrestling. average WWE wrestling fan will appreciate it, but that's the thing. The average WWE wrestling fan appreciates the Great Holly. So you could throw something in their face as many times as you want, and eventually <laughs> they'll think it's cool. Yeah. So they need to bring back good old matches like Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Which is, that's kind of what it reminded me of. Lots of submission holds and ground grappling mixed with some high flying and, and, you know, overall impressive. And some anus tickling. And as I've said before, I think they if they play this right, you said that these, before? these two guys can uh, have a have a really good career feuding against so each other. So is it going to be the summer feud? The summer feud for the WWE Championship. Is it gonna I be, hope. Is it going to be Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk with a little bit of the AJ for the... The spice, spice. I think it, it will because they didn't go into that anymore. The rest of the night. Well, they've been hinting at it. They yeah. like that. They're they're not put cramming it down our throats. They're easing us in. Which is also not signing on the dotted line that they're gonna give us that. I'd cram it down AJ's throat. Who wouldn't? Who? Who? Yeah, man. Who wouldn't? Oh. <laughs> Can we sign off now? <laughs> All right. We we are your. Moderators and hosts and uh, babbling morons of aftershocks to awful spots. It has two. It has been indecent. It has been May twenty first. Our pros raw show. We'd like to thank our special guest, LWF's greatest superstar, scary Adam Arson. But he's not here, so we got (laughs) Gary. Scary. uh, Scary Gary. Homicide. Scary. Mr. 187 himself. Scary. Thanks and for our, having me. I appreciate it. It's been real. And we got our producer, Courtney, <laughs> hard at work <laughs> next week. She's going to bring us some blockbuster blockbuster information to help you wet your panties. Mm-hmm. That's funny. She gets something coming on the fax machine all the time, so we'll keep you up on that. And so make sure to sit your ass down in front of the computer next week as well because we're going to have important shit to go over. This is ass to ass. See ya, bitches. But we won't see them because they—they we don't even see us.
We could see them, though. Oh, okay. We're Send watching us you. pictures. We want to see what you look like. Either way, we're not going to say goodbye because goodbye means forever. We're watching you.